Time now for Coach Camp, brought to you by SoFi Bank Borrow Invest All in One App. Sean McVay, considering the score, we greatly appreciate you putting the headset on down there on the sideline. Yeah, no, I want, uh, you know, we, we didn't come out with the energy that we want. We're capable of better, and uh, I'm looking forward to watching us see if we can play with some resolve and start to make some plays. We've got to take care of the football offensively and then just finish. You know, we're in a position to be able to stop some of these drives. But let's see if we can start to make some plays and get some momentum in our favor uh, starting right here. Hey, last time we had you, you had the pick six. All right, let's see. Broncos after the touchback, Jared Stidham still in. So, I'll be able to squeeze that top down. Quindell, oh my gosh, you're in good position too. Man, that's what kind of night it's been. You know, we're in positions and just you know, guys that are capable of being able to make some of those just aren't, aren't quite doing it. It's Brandon Johnson, a gain of 49, Robert Rochelle on the coverage. And it's another deep shot. Had that one that was called back, could have been a touchdown for 75, went for 50. Here's another 50-yarder. Well, Coach, let me ask you this. When you see a guy in position like that, are you – is it like a pass-fail grade? or just is misjudged it? the ball. I mean, he was in – he wasn't – he was calm. He was under control. He was able to catch that route from depth, and he just misjudged it. You could see once he ended up straightening up to the quarterback, if he just continued to be able to pedal with a little bit more speed and time his jump, you know, he's going to make a play on that ball. And, and Robert's got to be able to squeeze that thing top down, and those are plays that we can make. And I've seen those two guys make that play. That's a concept that they gave us over the couple days of practice. But, uh, you know, credit them. They're making the plays right now. Sean, let me ask you about a quarterback here. Stetson Bennett, I know the plan was to play him for the first half. What did you tell him after you put Brett Rippon in? Hey, you know, we got to be able to make better decisions. we got to be able to trust you with the football. Um, I know he's capable of playing better, but want to be able to get Rip in there and see if uh, we can start to establish some momentum. But uh, you know, he's a resilient guy, but we've got to be able to play better, and I know we can. Sean, overall big picture. Yep. Because I know you were really pleased with how things went with the joint practice. And, yes. and actually, going back to the joint practice last week with the Raiders, two good weeks of work leading up to this game. The guys on the field tonight are guys fighting for jobs, trying to make a final impression. How how do you juxtapose what we saw during the week with what we see tonight? Well, I, you don't want to make any excuses. I want, And I want these guys to play better because they're capable of it, and they deserve to. They put a lot of hard work in. And, hey, we've still got a, a full half and 520 left in this game, and so... We're going to see us just continue to compete, move from one snap to the next, and then we've got to be able to finish these plays at the point of attack. Don't do anything stupid. Coach, you've had a lot of competition here. We see Ronnie Rivers and Royce Freeman go at it. What have you seen from those two um, throughout training camp and then obviously tonight? They've done, some, they've done some good things. I've seen some great blitz pickups just like you back in the day, <laughs> sticking their face on people. They've done an excellent job being able to read it one gap at a time, and those are two guys that uh, – you know, our, our tough, reliable guys that uh, that we really like, and I've been super pleased with Cam Akers and Kyron Williams. They've, they've really had excellent camps. Ron Gould's done a phenomenal job with that group as a whole. Ron Gould, the running back coach here, as Stidham pressured, throws it late to Burton to the boundary. And over the head there of the fullback, Quindell Johnson there in the coverage. Uh, Sean, not trying to get to find here. I'm curious, though, if we could rewind to the opening drive. Yep. Your thoughts on Trey Tomlinson's he's, You know, he's, he's trying to make a play. I thought it was a, a tough spot he was in. The guy is trying to be able to stiff arm him. He's trying to just look for something to grab. I don't for a second think that that was intentional. Um, I hate it for him because you wanted to be able to get him some good reps tonight. He's a tough competitor, but I have total trust, you know, based on my observation. I thought it was really, you know, an unintentional deal, and uh, I, I know what you just you got to look at it through his lens, and, and I thought that was a tough play just because Mims did a nice job being able to stiff arm him inside out. All right, there you go, Cam. Got to be able to just earn a little bit of momentum, try to be able to get off the grass. It's a nice job being able to shut him down. Forced a field goal attempt here. So Cam McCutcheon there on the coverage as Stidham throws incomplete in the end zone. And Aubrey Pleasant called the defense tonight. This defense is getting off the grass, and Brett Maher comes out for the 33 yard field goal try. Sean McVay, uh, we didn't get the pick six this time. <laughs> we sure did. Last not. week was fun. We thank you for doing this all throughout the preseason. Hey, I appreciate it, Andrew. You've been awesome. All right, likewise. Sean, all right, Mo. everybody. Yes. All right, Coach. Time now for our Coach Camp brought to you by SoFi. Bank, borrow, invest, all in one app. Down to the sideline for Rams defensive coordinator, Sean, uh, wow, Raheem Morris. Hi, hi Raheem. You're not Sean McVay. <laughs> I'll be You're Sean Raheem McVay Morris. for a little bit. That's I okay. Mean, 
Everybody makes a mistake. Uh, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Obviously, this game. Not you. You're too smooth to make a mistake. <laughs> Come on now. That's not true, Bruce. <laughs> uh, oh, we got Rip. This is going to be a big play. Oh, Rip got action. Oh, oh, we got to make that one. McCutcheon cannot hang on. We did have Sean McVay, and that's what I was trying to say. Raheem got tongue tied there on earlier, and we're grateful for him coming on considering the score. From where you stand, how would you sum up tonight so far? You know, we got a lot of nervous energy out there right now. You know, potentially some of the plays you can make, you can feel some of the nervous energy and some of the deep passes. Uh, Oh, jumping, jumping too early or doing some things down the field or not making some tackles, getting the face mask early that we got early. It just feels like a lot of nervous energy. You just got to calm down and play and not worry about tomorrow and worry about right now in this moment. How do, how do you coach that out of a player, right? Because players understand. We're, we're, we're smart beings. We understand this is the last time we get a chance possibly to play in the National Football League as a coach. How do you calm those guys down to settle in and play like they played throughout the preseason and in practice? You know, for me, it's just about letting those guys go out there and take the shot. You know, it's about you can't miss a shot. You can't, you, you're gonna, you're not you're going to miss some shots, right? But you got to go take them. So you got to take all the shots you can have, and you got to tell them and tell them what they're doing and what's happening at the moment because you got to be right there with them and give them live feedback because if you're not, they got no chance. A rip into Austin Tramble there for a first down. Raheem, uh, from the defensive perspective here, gave up a couple of deep balls tonight. Yes. Those are the things we're talking about. You're giving up deep balls, and you're actually in position to make a few of those plays, and those are plays that you've seen them make throughout camp, you've seen them make throughout OTA days, you've seen them make since they've been here. And those just got a place that they got to make when they get an opportunity to make it. Ripping with the deep shot there over the head of Lance McCutcheon, J.L. Skinner on the coverage. How important, Raheem, is this game? Listen, you head into the final preseason game, you've had a month here, you've had OTAs, you, you've had a lot of time to evaluate this roster, but this is a, a final statement. And you there know, are plenty of stories over the years where guys do maybe come from behind. They weren't going to make the team, but all of a sudden they do. You know, there's been stories like this in our league since we've uh, been in it. And this game is so big for all of these guys because you get a chance to go out there and potentially make the 53-man roster. You potentially make yourself a practice squad guy, which you know now being on the practice squad is like being on the team because the ability to flex. Um, these guys are fighting, and these guys got a lot of stuff to play for tonight as well. Uh, they had a great week of practice out here, but this thing right here ultimately is something that they can put on tape for themselves and for everybody that's crossing the league. Now, Coach, you've not only coached defense out of the D.C. here, but you've coached offense. How has that helped you groom some of these young DBs that you've had that have come out and played pretty well, like McCutcheon? Uh, obviously, there's a couple other guys as well. Let me get my sheet so I can throw some names out there to you. <laughs> you got Jordan Jones. Jones. You got Jordan Jones. Yeah. You know, you got a bunch of those guys that are young that really, they lean on every word you say. When you're talking to them from an offense philosophy, we also have Aubrey Pleasant, who spent some time in Green Bay on offense as well. So they love to hear that conversation. They love to hear that dialogue when you're talking to them from a landmark standpoint or you're talking from all kinds of standpoints of that nature when you talk about offensive football. Brett Rippon fires incomplete under pressure there on third down, and it is Ethan Evans' hunt time yet again. He has had a good night. That last one went 59 yards, pinned him inside the 20. Raheem Morris, uh, we appreciate everything that you have done, hopping on the headset here through these three preseason games. Uh, we will see you back in L.A., and we will see you in Seattle. Thanks for everything. I will see you guys then, man. Thank all you. Right.